It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about Google Forms. Google Forms is a very cool thing where you can create a form and have it online so that you can ask family or friends or other people to fill out that form so that you can collect data like you might be doing a survey or something like that so it's really simple and easy and in this episode Jimmy's going to show you how to so do it. just go to docs.google.com forward slash forms and then if you want to make a new one you can click blank or choose a few here you can click more if you don't like these ones, but you want to choose one. But Timmy's just going to click blank. Okay, so when you get to your form here, you do the questions here, but first Timmy's going to add a title. So you just click there and maybe make it... You can just make the title what you want, and then over here it's already added a question automatically. So you can just click that. And will you type in your first question? So your first question might be And so you type in your question and over here you can choose what you want the question to be. So as in you can have them a box for them to type a short answer, a box for a long answer, multiple choice, check boxes drop down menu and there's date and time multiple choice grid line of scale so the, there's a whole heap to choose from but Timmy just can choose multiple choice and then so there's option one here you might make that and then you can click add option and make this and you can just keep going adding options as you go and then it's done so then if you want to add a another question you click this plus here and you can type in whatever you want this question to be so it might be, and then maybe you could come over here and have a time selection. And then that allows them to do the time. So you can just keep going along like that until you're really happy with your survey then you just click send and it, you can have it go via email if you want so you can type in people's email addresses and email them the form or you can click link and you might just wanna copy this URL so then anyone who goes to that URL so you might give the URL to people or you could make a QR code for it if you want anyone who goes there will end up at your form so then they'll see this nice form here they might choose that and it does a nice purple dot so it's clear and then they might choose and then they can choose AM or PM and then just click submit and then the response has been recorded so how do you see these responses well you just go over to your editing the form and go over to here where it says responses so you can see a summary of all the responses here and then if you click on individual you can see each individual response so you can see that they clicked bacon and 730 so that's how it's done 
And if you want, you can even click this to put it into a spreadsheet. So you can do create a new spreadsheet or select existing spreadsheet. So you can name it if you want. And then just click create. And then it creates a Google Sheet on your Google Drive so that you can really keep track of it. So then you see you have all your responses here. The date and time, the question up here, and the answer here. And that'll just keep going down there depending on how many people fill out your survey. So that's how it works. That'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy. Bye.